What's up, Film Jammers? This week, we're taking a look at what may be one of my favorite pieces of gear I've added to my kit in the last year, the innovative Voyager Evo 42-inch camera cart. We saw these carts at NAB last year, and I was instantly enamored with its sleek design, the smooth rolling wheels, and its girthy construction. It's hard to imagine anything else carrying around my gear on set. So is it the ultimate camera cart for filmmaking? Well, let's find out. Now we've covered camera carts before in our other video on top camera accessories to have, but I wanted to take a more in-depth look specifically at the innovative Voyager cart. Now, this is an expensive piece of gear for sure, but I will say it has dramatically changed the way I shoot when I'm on set or on location for the better. And it has made me a much happier filmmaker. In the past, I've used smaller rock and roller type carts. I've used plastic Rubbermaid style carts and all of these helped, but they didn't completely solve my workflow problems. Having something like the innovative cart that's specifically made for film production can really help streamline your work and make moving around to different locations a lot more enjoyable. I used to hate having to pack my stuff up and carry it around on set, but having all my gear managed on this cart makes working off site so much easier. First, let's talk about the design. The innovative Voyager 42 inch cart is heavy duty, supporting up to 600 pounds, but it also folds down so you can easily transport it in a car and it's even flight ready so you can travel with it too. This is a huge benefit as some of the more heavy duty carts are not designed with easy travel in mind. You can pop the wheels off of the Voyager innovative carts and they fold down in just a matter of seconds. And then you can actually store the wheels inside of the cart. So it's really well thought out. And after it's all folded down, you actually have two other transport wheels that make it really easy to roll through an airport, for example, or down a hill or up a hill or down a hill, then up a hill. Depending on your height or the size of your gear, the Voyager cart has six different settings so you can customize the height. So you can make it quite tall for larger loads or lower for a more standard height. I'm normally working off the lowest setting, but it's nice to know that you can raise it up higher if you're working on a ladder, for example, or other scenarios like that. Innovative has a number of different sizes for their carts. They have a 30 inch, they have a 36 inch, and the one that we purchased is the 42 inch Voyager, which is one of their larger carts. I really wanted to have the maximum space I could have when I was on set with my gear. I work a lot as a one man band and being able to transport more gear around with less crew was really important to me. I can have my camera, lenses, lights, and tripod all loaded up on the cart with plenty of space to spare. The innovative carts can be used for a variety of different functions and crew positions, but I feel like they work best for AC or assistant cameras, steady cam operators, and DITs. These three crew positions specifically, I think will really like what the innovative carts have to offer. I do a fair amount of camera work, and one of the things that I really liked about the innovative cart was the ability to attach a camera mount to the cart. There are options to buy different mounting plates that you can add to the cart, including Ronford Baker and Mitchell mount, etc. I purchased the 100 millimeter ball plate so that I could attach my Sackler 18 tripod head to the camera cart, which made it really easy to transport my camera around set. I also purchased the tripod attachment, which lets you put sticks right onto the back of the cart, and I find it really convenient. I can then use the main area of the cart for my lenses and camera and other accessories. It's super handy and I find it makes it working around set a lot smoother for me. If you're a Steadicam op, setting up your Steadicam can take some time. There's lots of pieces and accessories in the kit typically, and having a dedicated cart for all that stuff can make life a lot easier. The innovative carts have some great attachments where you can set your Steadicam up and also place it when you're taking a break or moving it around set. They're really convenient and it makes it easier to roll on right to that next setup with your Steadicam. Hello, I'm here for the kitten close-ups with my Steadicam and innovative cart. DITs will like all the different ways they can attach monitors to this cart. There's also an option for a folding tray, which we didn't get, but it makes typing on a laptop a lot easier. We also purchased the optional plates that have quarter 20 and 3 8 inch mounting screws on the sides of the cart. So you can attach smaller monitors, Teradex, or other accessories here. 
And if you wanna attach a larger monitor, say for example, a 17 inch director's monitor, they have accessories and monitor mounts for those as well. Basically, there are a ton of mounting options so you can customize your innovative cart exactly how you want it. Now all of these mounts and tripod holders are great, but what we haven't covered is the most important accessory of all kids, the RoboCups. <laughs> when you're thirsty on set and crafty is a mile away, you'll be quite glad that you have these little babies in your kit. RoboCups are an ingenious little design that allow you to clip cup holders to the side of your innovative cart legs. And don't just get one, always buy two sets of RoboCups. They're only about 20 bucks and that's a small price to pay for liquid Joy. Hmm. Mm. So enough jibber jabber, what does one of these carts actually cost? Well, the 42 inch Voyager starts at $2,450 and the 36 inch model starts at $2,250. Now, no matter what cart you end up using, whether it's the innovative or a less expensive option or a more expensive option, I've got a few tips here that might help for when you're working on set. Cart bonus tips. Ooh. If I'm one man banding and running audio or maybe I need some SDI cables, what I like to do sometimes is clip a spring clamp or two onto the side of my cart. These make great holders for your cables. This trick works for really any type of cart you might be using and you can also use these clips to hang your gaff tape rolls as well. Pretty nice. Now, if you don't have a fancy tripod holder to hold your tripod on your cart, you can always use a Cardellini to attach your tripod to. This isn't the most secure method, but sometimes I'll use a bungee to secure it a little bit more, and it works in a pinch. Don't put the cart before the horse. I, I really don't know what that means, but don't do it. No carts before horses. <laughs> so are the innovative carts right for you? That's a question you need to ask yourself. You know, will it make your life more efficient? Will it make it easier when you're working on set? For me, the answer was yes, but I wouldn't buy it as the first piece of gear if I was a new filmmaker investing in equipment. Essential gear like a camera, lenses, and basic lighting are things I'd recommend looking at first. Now, if you're in this for the long haul, a two to $3,000 camera car is definitely a long-term investment. Luckily, carts don't go out of fashion quite as quickly as cameras do these days. So I'm hoping to get a 30 year lifespan out of my cart, hopefully. Another benefit is that you could use your cart to rent to DPs or ACs flying into town that don't wanna travel with their carts. So it can be an extra revenue stream for you as a potential rental item. So I think there can be a lot of upside to owning a nice cart, not to mention how easier it makes life when you're on set. And clients are often impressed by its organizational abilities, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. All right, well, I hope this information was helpful. I'm Christian with Film Jams, and we come out with new videos every Tuesday and Friday. Bonus cart tips, tart pips. Or off a diving board. Hopefully you found none of this uninformative. Mm, double negative. <laughs>